Hello and welcome to the section on volume and surface area. We're going to start our work in this section by looking at the volume of a rectangular solid. And you'll notice over here on the board I've drawn a picture of a rectangular solid. All these sides meet each other at right angles and the volume or a measure of the capacity of this object is going to be the product of its width with its length times its height. So for a formula we write volume is equal to length times width times height. Now if the units of this, of the dimensions here are in inches, then the volume will end up being in cubic inches. Inches times inches times inches will give us cubic inches. Likewise, if the dimensions are in meters, we'll end up with cubic meters. Let's take a look at our first problem. And we use the formula of length times width times height. So the volume of this solid is going to be length times width times height. It doesn't really matter what order we multiply these numbers in, we're just going to multiply all three dimensions. And what we get is a measure of the volume or capacity for this solid. So what do I have here? Uh, 10 times 12 times 3. 3 times 12 is 36 times 10 is 360. And that will be square, whoops, cubic inches. So inches to the third power, because I have inches times inches times inches, that's going to give me cubic inches. And that is a measure of volume or capacity. Now uh, let's go and look at one more problem. The next problem is going to involve finding the volume of a sphere. And I've drawn over here on the board a little picture of a sphere. You can see it's got a radius of r. And the volume is going to have a formula of 4 thirds pi times the radius cubed. So pi, again, we're going to use 3.14. When we cube the radius, our units for volume will end up in cubic units. For instance, cubic inches, cubic meters, whatever. Let's take a look at this example. Let's find the volume of a sphere with a radius of 2 miles. So I want the volume of a sphere. Remember, it's a figure that looks like this, like a beach ball or whatever. This has a radius of 2 miles. The formula for the volume of a sphere is V equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. And pi is 3.14, so I have 4 thirds times 3.14 times 2 cubed. So 4 thirds times 3.14 times 8. And if I do this arithmetic right here, multiply 4 times this times 8, divide what I get by 3, I end up with, let's see, 33.49 cubic miles. So I won't actually do that arithmetic right there. I just wanted to use the formula and get it down to this point right here so that you could see it's a formula that involves both a fraction and a decimal. So I take this radius 2 for the sphere, plug it into the formula right here. That's 2 cubed. Then I get 8. If I do this arithmetic, and you can check it yourself, you'll end up with 33.49, and then the units are cubic miles, because this r is to the third power, and the units on r would be miles, so miles to the third power, we get uh, cubic miles. Next, we want to find the volume of a right circular cylinder. A right circular cylinder looks like this. It has a radius of r and a height of h. And if we want to find the volume of this solid, what we do is we multiply the area of the base times the height. So the area of the base is pi r squared times the height gives us pi r squared h. So the units again are going to be in cubic units. For instance, inches times inches times inches is going to be cubic inches. So um, let's look at our last problem. Find the volume, and here I have a right circular cylinder with a height of 8 feet and a radius of the base of 2 feet. So the volume for this is going to be, according to my formula, pi r squared h. So I'll have 3.14 times this radius squared, so times 2 squared, times the height, which is 8. So that's 3.14. 2 squared is 4 times 8. So 3.14. And then 4 times 8 is 32. So 3.14 times 32, that comes out and again, I multiplied it out already, 100.48, and it's feet to the third power, cubic feet. So 100.8 cubic feet for the capacity of this cylinder right here. Now you can see it's going to be cubic feet because I'm going to have feet squared here times feet over here, so that's feet times feet times feet, or feet to the third power. So 100.48 feet cubed. 
So that's a look at multiplication with decimal numbers and some of the formulas involving circles and cylinders that involve pi, which is itself a decimal number, 3.14.